Well, today we've globally revealed the new XF, the second generation XF. When you think about it, this car is about agility, it's about lightweight, and what better way to express it than the high wire floating above the water here. It was incredibly exciting to see Jim perform the stunt today, going 240 meters over open water. And I think it demonstrates the, the capability of the car, as well as our willingness to push boundaries and do something different. Well, I've done many James Bond films, being suspended that high above the river. That was most unusual. You could feel gusting sometimes. Can we have a wind reading, please? Wind reading, 2.8 metres a second. And that's when you think, this is the true test of whether this is going to work or not. Well, technology has always been at the heart of the Jaguar brand, and I think the new Jaguar XF brings forward a cutting edge in terms of the, the latest technology. That Jaguar is a very different vehicle, and, that, uh, and that's why we chose it. Technology integral in any new Jaguar, and even from the very structure of the car, the aluminium structure, which gives us great efficiency, both in the space and also in the overall construction, stiffness, and lightweight aspect of it. The InControl Touch Pro is state of the art in terms of responsiveness. And when we set about developing the system, we actually looked at it from a technology company point of view rather than a car company's. We have a feature, uh, we call it not navigation, but guidance, which means that when you're on your uh, way to the office, you use your regular route, the car will know where you're headed and will actually give you advice on traffic conditions or weather conditions that might be detrimental as you're, as you're approaching your destination. Well, the great thing about the new XF is that although the car is slightly smaller, inside the package is, is larger. We've started off with a completely fresh architecture, all new architecture, which means we can really maximise the effect of the package, the effect of the structure around the occupants, and to make sure we maximise the amount of space. The public debut for this car will be at the New York show next week, which I'm greatly looking forward to, and the customers will see the car in the showrooms August sometime.